How's it going everyone? My name is Ben and today we're going to be changing the PCV valve on the 2002 Toyota Highlander. Let's get into it. Alright, so let's go ahead and locate this PCV valve. Um, it's going to be in the back left corner of the engine, kind of where my work light is over there. Um, and this is only specific to the V6 version. Um, the four cylinder version is actually underneath this um, engine cover kind of right by the spark plugs as well. So the V6 has it in a different location. So it's actually located right underneath the upper intake manifold. So let's go get a better angle and see if we can zoom in and find it. All right, so that's where it is. Back left, you should see a insulated tube um, that connects to the um, engine. So that's what we're going to be replacing. All right, so some of the tools you'll need are a 90 millimeter wrench, some PB Blaster or WD-40 to um, help free up the threads on the old PCV valve, a shock cloth to wipe away any debris after you uninstall the old one, a set of pliers to possibly undo the hose clamp if you're having some problems. Uh, it, usually I, I can just pull it with, you know, it's with my fingers, so it's, it's not too bad and the replacement PCV valve if you're going to be replacing it. You can also clean the old one with some uh, airflow sensor cleaner. That'll help in case you just want to use the old one. I figured might as well just get a new one because it was $8.99 on Amazon. My car has $206,000 on it and I'm pretty sure it's never been replaced so might as well just replace it. Better safe than sorry. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take off the tube that connects to the PCV valve. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to pull this clip kind of towards me. And then I'm going to get these pliers. Maybe I might need a bigger set. Let's try to do it with my bare hands here. And actually, yeah, that comes off pretty quick, pretty easy. So I'm just going to pinch that together. And let's see, it looks like it should be off the valve now. And then just wiggle that off. As you can see, that's on there pretty good. All right. So there it is. We got the tubing off. Let's just go ahead and kind of push that down a little bit. Just to get it out of the way. Now let's remove that PCV valve. So we've got the tubing off. Let's go ahead and we're going to use a 19 millimeter wrench here and try to loosen this and take it off. seized on there. So what we're going to do, instead of risking stripping that out, let's go ahead and get some PB Blaster and shoot that. All right, just sprayed that with some PB Blaster. We'll wait about 20-30 uh, minutes, come back and see if we can get it off. is off so what you want to do before you install the new one is just put the parts right next to each other and really ensure that it's the same part as you can see this one has some sort of thread sealer on it so um, no Loctite or anything should be necessary these are going into an aluminum piece I'm not too sure what it is but you don't want to over tighten these because you can strip those threads you know just going into aluminum so, looks like these ones match, so let's put it in. The next step we're going to do is just clean out the area where the PC valve was in. As you can see, there's some old thread cleaner in there that we need to just remove. 
You could either do this with um, a shop vac and vacuum it up, or you can just take your blue shop towel and just wipe off the debris. Now, what you wanna do is, you don't wanna push the debris into the PC valve opening, because um, we don't want any of those particles or anything inside the engine. So go ahead, and what I like to do is just kind of um, put it into the hole and in an outward motion kind of go away from the PC valve opening. So after that's clean, we'll get our PCV valve and we'll start threading it in. Be sure to first do this by hand and really ensure that it's in there straight. Snug it down. Remember, do not over tighten this because that is just aluminum down there. All right, so that is installed. And what we're gonna do is I sprayed some silicone lubricant on this blue shop towel. And it's a little trick I learned. Um, just go ahead and put a little bit of that on the stem of the PCV valve. Um, and this will help just lubricate a bit so we can get that dry old rubber from the hose onto that without um, you know, to make it easier. So um, you don't need a lot, just a little bit, and just go ahead and push that hose back on the PCV valve. All right, so get your hose clamp and make sure that is um, pushed up so it doesn't interfere with the little lip on the PCV valve. Um, and then just go ahead and push that and make sure it is all the way down so you can see there's a little gap, we need to push it down some more. Yeah, I apologize for my hand in the way. All right, so you can see that it's down all the way. What we need to do is just push that clamp back over that little PCB valve lip. And you should see the previous indentation, so you can just kind of follow that. And you can use that silicone method on air intakes, any other hoses. Um, it's light enough where it won't interfere with the, the connection or anything or come undone. All right, so with the hose back on, the job is completed. And that's it, easy as that. Uh, just wanna thank you guys for checking out the video. Hope it helped you. Um, let me know in the comments if everything was thoroughly explained and um, you were able to do it yourself. So thanks for looking, have a good one.